Hello, hungry people, and welcome to the science of barbecue and grilling with Meathead. I'm Jenny Johnson. And I'm Meathead. And today we're gonna take some sausages for a swim in the brat tub for your next tailgating party. Now, we're gonna show you the techniques, but if you need the recipes, all you have to do is go online to amazingribs.com slash videos. Now, Jenny, do you know why football is played on a gridiron? No, Meathead, why? Because it's marked just like a cooking gridiron. <laughs> and the central object in a football game? Pigskin! So here I'm gonna dump in some of the regular blue bag Kingsford charcoal. And then I'm gonna take some crumpled up newspapers, put it under the chimney, light them, and in about 10 or 15 minutes, they, these will be all white and ready to go. All right, so for a video about different types of charcoal, the best ways to start your fire, and how to use wood for flavor, just go to amazingribs.com slash videos. Today we're using the PK Grill. I love it for tailgating because it's real lightweight, portable, it comes on a cart, and we're gonna set it up for two-zone cooking. All right, so we have one for radiant heat, and then the second for a little less direct conve convection heat. That's correct. Indirect convection heat on one side, direct radiant heat on the other side. And we're ready to cook. So we're gonna take some cold brats and we're gonna simmer them for about 15 minutes in the beer. Okay, and great tailgating tip, freeze some water bottles. It keeps the brats cooler longer. And as it melts, you're able to use it to hydrate while you're drinking beer and then to clean up. Okay, well, I'm all geared up. Let's take a look and see how they're doing in there. Whoa, beautiful, beautiful. We've got brats ready to start grilling. Now these have been simmering away for about 15 minutes and they're ready for the next step. Mm -hmm. Some people like to simmer them first, then grill them. Some people like to grill them first, then simmer them. Meathead likes to do both. So we're gonna take them out of here and put them over on the hot coals and grill them up. Get some nice color and flavor in that color. And then we're gonna make a sauce with the beer because we hate wasting beer. Mm -hmm. Yaha. All right, now for gloppy sauce. Okay, we got some hot sauce, some butter. <laughs> That's okay, this is good. <laughs> Woo -hoo! There's a rule some in barbecue mustard. that. No matter where you stand, the smoke follows you. Barbecue sauce. Some barbecue sauce. Onion. Oh, okay. Then we're gonna <laughs> close this up and make ourselves a sloppy sauce. Woo! Is it almost time to eat? It's, I hope so, let's take a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, these brats are done. Nice color. Okay, we're gonna now move them back into the brat tip. Into our gloppy sauce. And then we're gonna put it back, the whole shoot match over the hot direct fire and simmer it just a little more, mm -hmm. cook it down until it's really thick and gloppy, until it's a little thicker than this so that we can make a nice gloppy sandwich. And close the lid and it'll tell us when it's ready. Oh, yeah. And remember, cooking for others is an act of love. And the most important part of the meal is not what's on the plate, but who's in the chairs. Mmm. 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 Go Bears! Go Bats!